Welcome to a special afternoon and a long-deserved celebration for a player and person who made his Major League debut 40 years ago this past week. Now, our retired number is reserved only for those who leave an indelible impact on a team and a city. Today, the New York Mets bestowed this honor upon one of the most dominant and charismatic players to ever wear the Mets uniform, Dr. K. Dwight Gooden. And today, I get the retires of Met, and I want all you guys to know, you guys are part of this, thank you so much. This afternoon, Jose Buto comes up to make the start for the Mets, his second start of the year, pitched a terrific game against the Tigers in game two of the doubleheader back on April 4th. Michael Garcia leads off for the Royals, and Garcia chases the strike three. Beautiful change up for Buto, that's his difference maker. Witt leading the American League in slugging percentage at 7-10. Two and two to Witt, and Buto strikes him out with the changeup. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Buto to start the afternoon. 2-2 two -two from Buto, and Pasquantino goes down swinging. Three change-ups for strikeouts. Jose Buto honored Dwight Gooden by striking out the side in the top of the first. Cole Reagans, who came over from Texas in trade last year, Mets saw him in his second start for the Royals. Since that start, he has more strikeouts than any pitcher in the major leagues. Nimmo took an over yesterday, snapping a crazy four-game streak. And he smacks one into right center field for a base hit. That's ball in on him. And he got the bat inside the ball and hit it into right center field. Here's Starling Marte. Got him with a fastball at 96. One away in the first inning. And the weekend of ovations for Francisco Lindor continues. They're, they're urging him on. Well hit right field. There's a lot of room out there. Renfro is back and he's got it. And he was fighting the sun as he was going deep into right center field. As Alonzo is homeward three times in this series. Foul tip, and he struck him out on a curveball. So Reagans strikes out two. Salvador Perez will lead off the Royals' second inning. No score, Royals and Mets. Out over the plate and pulled into the corner. And Salvi will be at second base with nobody out. That is his fourth hit of the series and his third extra base hit. So runner at second, one down. That brings up Nelson Velasquez. And he struck him out. Four strikeouts all on the changeup. So the Royals will have two on, two out. Hunter Renfro. And he struck him out with the changeup. Five strikeouts in the first two innings for Jose Buto, all on the changeup. Congratulations. This was so long in coming and so well deserved. How are you feeling? Felt great. It was great to uh, set time with the fans, uh, my 86 teammates, uh, my grandkids, my kids. Pass Reagans, but Bobby Wood Jr. is right there, and the Mets go down quickly in the bottom of the second inning. No score. The Mets have one hit. Ooh, that's nasty. What about the pitch? Forget about the swing. Good location. Reagans is retired seven in a row with four strikeouts. Lifted to center. And Isbell on the back edge of that number 16. Ooh. Nimmo is down Ooh. on strikes. That is a four pitch strikeout. Well, no run scored in this game so far. That's poked over the second baseman uh, into the right center. And Marte able to get that bat on the changeup and has the Mets second hit. Lindora bouts a bat. Switch hitter batting from the right side. That's taken the other way by Lindor. He's got a base hit. Marte around second. It's bobbled by Renfro. Marte to third. He's going to be held up there. Boy, what a tribute to the arm of Hunter Renfro that Mike Sarbaugh threw up the stop sign. But Lindor winds up at second on the misplay. And the Mets have second and third and nobody out. And it puts two on for Pete Alonzo. Popped up. Long run Salvi. Watch your feet. And he makes a catch. He went right through the Mets on deck circle with all kinds of donuts and weighted bats. The infield comes in a few steps more. And that's hit to left field. And Melendez makes the catch. Here's a tag by Marte. Here's the throw. He is out. Melendez with the throw. Beautifully done by the Royals. And they get out of the inning where it was second and third and nobody out. What Salve a throw. Took, took the spikes to his midsection. 
This uh, Jose Buto is becoming rather interesting, is he not? He's never had more than seven strikeouts in a game. He's got six already today. And now he's got seven as he strikes out Renfro with a slider. Freddie Fermin is in there. We'll find out what happened to Salvi, but there was the potential of a, a Charlie horse to the left leg or right there, an extension kind of going into the splits on his knees. Francisco Alvarez leads off. Put down 100 on that. miles an hour. <laughs> Fastball got him. So both starters have struck out seven. With two men away in the fifth inning, the Mets have runners at first and second. Nimmo single to right field in the first inning and struck out in the third. Ground ball, Vinny's got it. Reagans goes to the bag, and that's the inning. And that's five scoreless innings. Sixth inning, no score. Jose Buto has been dealing. The one two on the way. Swung on and missed strike three. The one, there's a new career high in strikeouts for Jose Buto. That's number eight. Three two again. Mm -hmm. And it's in there for a call strike three. Perfectly placed outside corner at the knees. Nine strikeouts for Jose Buto, including the last three. Bobby has struck out and fouled out to right. Out over the plate and whacked into left field, and that'll go all the way to the wall. Bobby Wood Jr. has a two out double. And it puts the go ahead run in scoring position with two down. First base open, the left hand hitter Pasquantino has been hot at the plate. Pasquantino lines it right to Lindor, and that retires the side. Lindor had to play perfectly. Jose Buto with six scoreless innings. Reagans is coming up on 80 pitches. Foul tip, and down he goes with 98 miles an hour. That is number eight in terms of strikeouts for Cole Reagan. That's Cole's first walk. Two on and one out. Jammed him. Infield fly rule. Two down. Lindor at second, Alonzo at first with two down. Now Alvarez. Swinging 3 0. Oh. Bobby Wood Jr. is there. And Reagans is fired up. And the Royals turn away the Mets in the sixth inning. Now with the right hander in the game, Brett Beatty is going to bat for Zach Short. And Beatty loops one the other way, and it falls for a base hit just beyond the reach of Witt. So now two out. Beatty's still at first, and here's Nimmo, who's one for three today. And he breaks his bat and loops one to shallow right. On comes Renfro, but it drops for a base hit. Beatty going first to third on Renfro, and he makes it safely. So now for the second time in the game, the Mets have gotten a runner to third base. Big hole on the right side from Marte, and it's too high, ball four, and the bases are loaded for Lindor. Well, Francisco has had a breakout kind of a day today. Will it stay in play? Vinny is there. And thought he was closer to the dugout than he was. And now Schreiber is fired up. What a pitch by Schreiber to end the inning. It's two walks in the inning. And now the Mets have two men on. And Brett Beatty coming up. 3 1 coming. And he missed with a curveball, and the bases are loaded. Wow. Three walks in the inning, and the Mets have them loaded up for the second straight inning. Looks like Carlos Mendoza has faith in what he's seen lately from Beatty. And Bader, it's a weak ground ball. Beat this out. Garcia can't make the play, and the Mets have the lead. A swinging butt by Harrison Bader brings in Alonzo in the lead one, and it's one nothing New York. Nimmo trying to extend it now, and he walked him. A bring in McNeil with the second run of the inning. It's two nothing. To Vinny. And he'll circle around and touch the bags. Edwin Diaz, who saved two games in Cincinnati, goes for his first city field save since he hurt his knee. One two coming. And the slider in there, strike three call. Four straight sliders, and Garcia's down looking, one down on the night. And Diaz taking advantage. Comes back with another slider against the weak comebacker. Oh, two out. And now two down for Vinny Pasquantino. Vinny hits one deep to right field. Taylor is at the wall and it's gone. The lead is now one, two one New York in the ninth. Then he passed Quintino. And how much now does that bases loaded walk sting? And now it's just a one run ball game. Two to one as Freddie Fermin will come up. And Fermin popped it up. Alonzo tracking it. He's calling and he makes the catch. 
direction, the ball game is over. A pitcher's duel on a day that Doc Gooden's number went up to the rafters. The Mets scratch out a couple of runs in the eighth, and they win their third straight series as they take the rubber game from the Royals 2-1. to one.